Hi you guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to change things a little bit here. Let's just remove all of that code that we added uh, in the last videos. Okay. Just to have a new start, a fresh new start. I'm going to remove this. So today we're going to talk about the font dialog, which is very interesting. If you guys are working with text, let's just add a rich text box here so you guys should be familiar with this just a simple rich text box i'm gonna um add the, the property anchor let's just change this property a little bit let's execute we should see that everything is all right but if you guys notice we don't have a choice or, or an option to change the font, the font of this um, text, okay? So we're gonna work on this now. So to do that, I'm gonna add a, we're gonna just gonna come back here. I'm gonna add a button here very quickly. So you guys can see that we are serious. Uh, let's just call it change font. Okay, let's just double click. So here I'm gonna add, add the function to change the font. Okay, so uh, you're gonna need to create a private font dialog. FD equals new new font dialog. That's all. Okay, that's all we need to do. Remember to add a if statement if FD dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot okay you need to do something here so we're gonna grab the font though here so we we're trying to change the font of the rich text box so i just do this dot rich text box dot font which is a property is going to be equal to fd dot font okay okay there you go. That's all you need to do. It's just execute and see what he, what is the outcome. So let's just do something like this. Let's just type something here. So like a, let's just write some simple Python code here. Something like uh, numbers equals uh, I for I in range 10. I think that's uh, for I in numbers. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't have the option to to do that. So I have some code here. I, I can't see. I cannot see the code. So let's just click and change font. Uh, let's select a 16. Click OK. Uh, it's quite all right. 26. Okay, that's pretty good. As you guys can see, and now I can see my my code. And let's just change to a consolas though. There you go. That's much better now. So you guys can see that we can do a lot of interesting stuff with this. Um, if you guys are down to try this out, I recommend you guys to do this. Very easy, very simple. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.